<laughs> Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel! Yes, so today guys we're going to be taking you from Big Road in Glengal to Bog Walk. So come with us, we're going in for a little drive. So Hello. keep our company. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's go guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> Heading out of Big Roads, we are going to take the left turn. And yes, guys, that is a term that is being used now. You're in Lawrence Tavern and you want to get to Mount Concord, Mount Matthews, Ashley, Church Road, Bamboo Corner. Then you're going to ask for a left turn taxi. It's a thing, yes. Now, for those of you who are familiar with this area, this is specifically Mount Concord, by the way, then you would know the term Miss Mabel's School or you would know of the Mount Concord Basic School. This school was located to the right at this wall where there's a dirt track to go down to where the school was. The school has been relocated to Big Road. Please remember. Now we're coming up to one of the two health facilities that's in Glengough. The other is a doctor's office that is down by the gas station at the plaza. The second is the Glengough Health Center, which has been around way longer and it is to the left hand side of the road. Now moving along, we're going to come up to the relocated Jehovah Witness Church to my right hand side right here at this fence. Just a quick point to note, moving from Glengough, going into Bogwalk, we're moving further into St. Catherine because remember now, Glengough is at the border of St. Andrew and St. Mary. So the further we go is the further we're going into St. Catherine. So let's just bear that in mind. We're coming up to another district, this left turn here, Mount Matthews. Now, if you get to the bottom of Mount Matthews, you can actually cross over into St. Andrew as well. Now, you're just going to sit back, relax, let my voice soothe you as we take this journey and observe the beauty as nature is just popping everywhere. Now, this left turn takes us into Ashley, which is another district. So we're coming up now to another district just around this corner. Now if we keep looking to the left hand side we spot that blue building that's Rich's Barber Shop. Crossing this bridge we're in Bamboo Corner and the right takes us into Church Road where I'm focusing the camera is actually the St. Faith's Primary School. To the left hand side, we have the St. Faith's Basic School. And we are moving on. Now, the river crossed over from the right to the left at the bridge. So it's now actually running on the left hand side of the road. Now this river serves so, so many people because there are many activities that people use this river to generate an income. And there are those who actually pump their own water from the river 
and purify it for consumption. Now, Bamboo Corner goes all the way down to Zion, where Zion Hill Bridge is. So it is one of the larger areas, districts, that we will cover. And with all the other videos that you have seen so far through Glen Gough, it's the same sort of road condition, nothing new here. I don't think there could have been a better name for this area than Bamboo Corner. Because if you're looking keenly, you will notice that the plants that we're seeing, 99% of them seem to be the bamboo plant. Yes vast vast areas of bamboo and it's on both sides of the road actually now bamboo is actually a fantastic plant because it can be used to do so so many different things to make so many different products we're at my fishing spot yes that video with a fishing trip was right here guys all that excitement now we are leaving bamboo corner and we are headed right up into zion hill now we have the famous zion hill bridge to the left and this road takes you up to the saint mary's college that many students from glen Gough attend and the St. Mary's All Age School. To get to Bob Walk, we're going to continue on the right. Now, also to note is that where the Zion Hill Bridge is, a river comes from up that road and meets at the bridge. So everything is now joined and running to the left hand side of the road. Yes a lot of things going on in this neck of the woods guys now we're coming around to another district and right here we have rentcom now this is a large community and it is accessed by this bridge that has recently been built So we're headed into Harker's Hall and we're coming up to a right turn right here that will take us up into Long Hill, which leads into Mount Industry. So, so we're talking about the interlacing. Yes, this other right turn takes us to Sandy Hill, which also leads up to Mount Industry. So we're crossing over the bridge where the river changes from the left to the right. Now we're going to take a quick stop here and I'll just show you the Harker's Hall Skills and Training Center and we have this huge play field right here. Now this is Harker's Hall Square and to the right we have the Sergeantville Primary School down that road there, nestled in a quiet little pocket. On the same hand, in the right hand, we have the Harker's Hall Health Center right here. And we are getting along. We're coming up to the final resting place of many of our friends and loved ones. The Harker's Hall Cemetery. Rest in peace. To all who have their final resting place here. Now moving along, 
on the same right hand side of the road we have the Harker's Hall Seventh-day Adventist Church right here Now right along the right hand side here, we have the Nature Pure Water Factory. So this is the entrance. And remember when I said the river changed sides? So the river is actually running behind the water factory. Now to the right hand side here we have a turn and this is Newtown and passing Newtown we are in Edward Peace. Now Edward Peace is also still a part of Harkazol I was told as Harkazol extends all the way on the road now to my right hand here we have the entrance for Morris Hall another large community so going through the wall lines we don't have many residents in this intersection we're coming around now to this bridge where the river changes side again from right to left. Now, after crossing this bridge, we are in paradise. Oh, paradise. Yes, this place is actually called paradise. Now, leaving paradise, we can see this little building up here. It's actually a bus stop and there's a dirt track that leads up into a place called Witter Hill. And after passing through Witter Hill, we have the river course running to our left. This right turn here can take us back up into Riversdale. Yes, talk about roads that are joined. And we're now coming through the cane piece, as we call it, where we have canes left and right. Now we see this big palm tree here. This tells us that we are almost at the estate. So to my left, we have the Tuller estate right here. The right side, they have now started growing jackfruits. And we're coming around to this narrow bridge where we have to be careful because only one vehicle can use this bridge at a time. Now to my left, we have the Tolo Primary School, a shift school in this area. If I take the right side of the road, turn right, I can go back up to Riversdale. The left is taking us into bog walk guys we are almost at the end of the tour guys i tried to make it as short and to the point as possible i hope you have been enjoying thus far now if you look up into the hills to the left you can see where the highway is being cut out yes and as we move along we have the church to the right there this overhead bridge can take us to the highway the bypass Bogwalk walk bypass and we are in the bog walk square now immediately in front of us we have the bog walk police station the right will take us up to linstead uaton those places the left will take us to the roundabout where we can get to Flatbridge, Spanish Town and those other places into St. Catherine. So we are in deep in St. Catherine now guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time with us. Please remember to like, share, comment and of course subscribe.